for missionaries going to the Mexico Hermosillo mission, I can, I can give you some advice. The advice would be just to be ready to work. The work out there is not, not easy work, but it is fun. Be willing to learn the language. You have to be disciplined when it comes to the language and you also have to be ready to, to have, have a great time. Honestly, this is gonna be the time of your life. I can't explain how much fun I had out there on the mission, even though obviously some of the parts were hard, some of the parts were dangerous, some of the parts were sad. Not every day was an amazing day, but honestly, it really is the time of your life. It's gonna be the most fun two years or 18 months of, of your life, honestly, if you, if you make it that way. It can, be, it can be the most amazing time due to your companions, due to the people you teach, and, and everything in between. Uh, the people you teach are, are amazing people. There are many difficulties that they have with the drugs or the drinking, uh, law of chastity, things like that. But we know what everyone needs to be able to be happy. We know what each person needs to do to be able to gain that happiness and have eternal life. And that's what we're here to offer them. That's what we need to do and we need to be ready to to do anything. It can be one of the worst days and just finding someone you're able to teach can make it the best day. Just be ready to have the time of your life, have a good attitude. Um, one thing that, that my mission president's wife, Sister Robinson would always say is, her motto was PACE, P-A-C-E, positive attitude changes everything. And that, I really, really agree with that. Live by that in the mission. If you have a bad attitude, everything will go bad. Even if something good happens, it will be lessened by the bad attitude you have. So having a good attitude is the most important thing you can take out onto a mission and just the willingness to learn, the willingness to, to know that we don't know everything, a willingness to understand that we do rely on the Lord and a willingness to understand that we need to compromise with our companions, a willingness that we need to compromise with our companions, with our mission president and with the Lord. Let them know often, especially your companion, how you feel, what you think you need to do better, and, and everything will go, go better than it would have before. I have a lot of gratitude for the mission, the two years I spent there. I was able to extend my mission, um, which was just a great experience. I was able to visit most of the areas, uh, my last transfer, and see the work and how it had progressed in the two years. Now, it might not have looked like a lot, but seeing the missionaries that had come and gone, the missionaries, what they had done for the mission, and seeing almost all the areas in my last transfer was just an amazing experience for me. I was able to, to talk with the president quite a bit that last transfer, and he was able to show me everything that this mission had become. He had been out there for a year when I left, and and he had been able to see the differences in, that I hadn't been able to see because I was only working in one area at a time, but he had been able to explain everything that the missionaries had gone through. And I'm extremely grateful for, for my time as a missionary, grateful for the opportunity I had to, to serve with President Hernandez and President Robinson, all the lessons that they taught me, all the lessons that the assistants and the zone leaders and the district leaders and my companions, every single one of them taught me so many lessons, so many things I could learn from and they helped me learn how to better myself every day. I made a lot of promises to myself in the mission, ranging from I'm not gonna text and drive when I get back, to I'm always gonna pay a tithing, to I'm going to search for an eternal companion as soon as I get back, and I've been able to, to do a lot of those that I had promised to myself. And that all came from the mission, learning what I needed to do to make those promises, what I needed to do to make a plan so I'd be able to keep those promises and be able to plan each week or each month so I could continue to see my progress in each one of those plans. That's something that mission taught me as well as having a daily planner. That's one of the most important things as well. Planning every day, making sure you are doing productive things each hour, whether it's work or scripture study or anything like that after the mission, you do need to have a plan because if you get caught in the rut of not having a plan every day, you will end up feeling bad and not feeling like you're doing much with your time. 
Um, so find, find some way to serve your companion every single day as well. That's why I can, I can tell you, find some way to serve every day. And write it down, write down how you do serve and how you were served that day. So you can see the experience that you have when you come home. You can remember exactly how you felt when you served someone or a specific experience that you had. And they'd be able to, those memories, if you have a journal, will be able to, to come back and you can feel the same spirit that you felt during your mission um, that you had during those experiences.